What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tatami and I talk about whatever's on my mind here. Um, today what's on my mind is that I just saw a video where a reporter named, I believe, Allison Morris decided to use the N-word when talking about the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant earlier today, just hours ago. Somehow she did the whole slip within hours of his passing. <laughs> and it's disappointing and disgusting, but it's really not surprising to me that somebody who, I don't know, riled so many feathers, I guess, ruffled so many feathers, him and, you know, LeBron and the rest of them who left high school and immediately went into the NBA, you know, made a ton of money, did their thing. They, um, they, they made a lot of people mad with that. It made them mad to see them successful. It made them mad to see them so successful, so young, to have such long careers <laughs> when everybody was talking kind of crap about young people with that much money, um, to have had, you know, basically, you know, all right lives um, throughout all of that. And it makes them mad. It makes them mad and it, it brings out the disrespect in people. So I don't think it was an accident really. She like paused right before she said it. So like in my mind, I don't feel like that was an accident. I don't know that she was a plant. I don't know that she was like paid off, but I'll say that it feels like part of a plan. It feels like part of something that's always going down. Um, when you're black in America and somebody is always waiting to say it at the most inopportune time it, it will just snag your attention racism and then you'll be accused of you know bringing it into everything but it just permeates such random parts of your body like right when you're not doing nothing at all somebody comes out with some racist bullshit to say and you're like yeah well not surprised that you didn't shock me. So anyways, I'm, I'm very sad that um, he had such a tragic passing so young. Um, he was a very valuable community member. He was a you know, wonderful father and husband, so they say. And um, I'm sure his family is missing him very much and it's gonna be a very hard journey of healing. Um, now that you know he's joined the ancestors <sighs> i hope you all are doing all right and um i hope we all take this thing seriously that she chose to say the n-word i hope we don't just let it slide or you know accept some kind of excuse because speaking deliberately especially during times of sadness is just kind of your job as a journalist um, i don't really accept otherwise you went to school for this i'm not allowed to just walk in off the street and talk on tv um that you know you have to go to school for that be be hired so it just it feels deliberate and it feels like something i'm not willing to forgive like and do your job do your job correctly and keep your bullshit out of it I, I i imagine she's used that term before you know um at home or you know with her friends something like that but it came out at the wrong time i hope she i hope she gets fired and i hope you know um i hope we don't forgive her for it i hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend as best you can you find a way to um honor this person for however they impacted you. I know I was really into basketball for a very long time in my life. So um, there's, there's an impact there that can never not be felt. And of course, with his daughter, I was a huge, huge ladies basketball fan for my entire high school career just like she was loved me some basketball. I of course went to Stanford cause I was right down the street. So it, it really broke my heart to hear about her studying UConn. And, you know, I used to study Lisa Leslie. I used to like y'all when I first met her. So like, you know, it really broke my heart because I think she could have been a, a real powerhouse in the WNBA and they, the WNBA could have really used the advocate that 
Kobe was shaping up to be for them. Um, and I hope, you know, the impact he made can really make that difference. The impact his daughter was, you know, striving to make can also still make a difference and that they can encourage other young people who are still looking to join in, um, you know, and broaden the aspects of women's sports and sports in general for people of color um, and their rights in it and the respect they can seem to not get no matter how well they do or how much money they earn or how many trophies they get. Um, I hope that we can all try and make a change and we can all learn from his life and the lessons that he tried to teach us, uh, especially in these last few years as he retired. He was only retired for like two, three years as far as I can remember. All right, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.